Hey guys, how's it going? Tess back again with episode number 14 of Pac-Man and as you can see we've sold Lucas Piztek on for 11,250 coins which has brought in a lot of money for us to spend on packs. Now I know that that is a particularly perhaps unpopular decision with uh, with a lot of you. A lot of you commented on the uh, the video where I asked for your opinions on it. A lot of you said keep Lucas Piztek. We sold on Philip Lam of course for 25,000 coins or 20,000 coins and uh, and you said keep Lucas Piszczek. Now I made the uh, the decision as a what well, I don't understand what that glitch is. If you see Gundogan's face has the word Defoe in it, not really too sure. Fantastic side that we come up coming up against, by the way. One of the best sides I've played on uh, on Ultimate Team this year on either account, whether it's the Pac-Man or my uh, my main account. But I'm let the uh, I'll let the uh, the footage play on in the background. The um the decision I came to with Piszczek was yes. We uh, we want to get the best players possible for our potential team. That is, of course, one of the aims with Pac-Man. But equally, the same aim is to try and get a hundred chemistry out of a team, and try and build uh, not only a hundred chem, but maybe even perhaps maximum player individual chemistry. You know, whether that we can get them to nine or maybe even ten with a manager or the um, the loyalty bonus. And uh, Pisek, we don't have many Bundesliga players or any Polish players. We are do have an almost full Premier League side. We do have an almost full Russian League side with a lot of um, La Liga players in it. That is a blend, nice that blend nicely together into the side, which is the side we're playing with right now. And um, we also have a side full of Brazilians. Now Pisek doesn't fit into any of those squads. Therefore, I made the decision to sell him on to uh, to hopefully try and get some not necessarily better players in packs but perhaps more suited players in packs for later on in the series how is that not a foul by the way we come from 2-0 uh, up back to 2-2 into the last minute I, our man gets thrown to the floor nothing is given and Aubameyang races away to win the game 3-2 I was fuming when that happened and that is our first defeat of this league season we of course won the first game we drew the second game we had 4 points heading into this particular game from the opening two. As you can see from the stats, we were so on top. We had so many chances, a lot better chances. And I was really, really frustrated that I'd lost that game because this La Liga slash um, Russian League team really is playing some nice, nice football. And I've been really encouraged by the way that Koke and Karanyi have been linking up. So I, I decided, well, basically that's my decision and the reasoning behind it for the Pistic deal. So we're going to spend the money on uh, on a pack. We're going to open a 5k pack because, of course, in the 7.5k pack, we didn't really get anything spectacular in any of the 7.5k packs we've opened. So we went for a 5k pack and uh, we got a rare player. It's uh, Steck Ellenberg from Fulham, the Dutch uh, goalkeeper that came across from Serie A from Roma in the summer. He will replace Scott Carson, who is the English a goalkeeper we have in the uh, in that particular Premier League influence side at present, but of course he only links up with JT because of the English link, because of course Wigan got relegated, so therefore Stekelenberg will have links with both centre backs, which is superb. Will he help chemistry in that particular side, which I think is the uh, is the the way to go because chemistry this year more than most is a lot more important than individual quality. You can have the best players, but if they don't have decent chemistry, they're not going to play very well together. But uh, as we head into this second game, as you can see, it was so unbelievably laggy. It was just borderline unplayable. The uh, The guy was from France, and uh, I initially went into it, because it said it was a three-bar connection. This apparently is a three-bar full connection, according to FIFA. And uh, on my main account, I don't know whether you guys have encountered this as well, I get uh, paired up against people from the USA, from Mexico, from from South America. I get paired up with people from Bolivia and from Brazil and from Chile and Argentina, and I just they don't seem to understand that I live in the UK. I don't want to play these people. It's not that I have anything against people from that region of the world. It's just the fact that the internet sucks dick, and um, I, you know you just can't get a decent connection. So hopefully on next gen they'll have. Uh, dedicated servers. I actually don't know anything about uh, the matchmaking on next gen. As Koke strikes the ball with a wonderful shot, dug that out beautifully. Really unfortunate not to put us one nil up there. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure what the matchmaking is going to be like on next gen. On uh, I have seen on Ghosts on the Call of Duty game they're going to have um, dedicated servers. So hopefully for uh, for other games like Forza or in particular FIFA 14. Um, you know they're going to have dedicated servers, and then we won't have that sort of issue with incredibly laggy 
incredibly laggy games like this. I did actually dive that way for the penalty as well. It just didn't register because of the uh, the lag. And I was not only was I infuriated from the first game that I'd played and got robbed of any points whatsoever. We get robbed of a single point in this one as well. And uh, I wasn't the happiest of bunnies, to be completely honest, as we end this particular episode. But hopefully in the next one, we can uh, open another pack. We'll get some decent talent, hopefully, fingers crossed, and we can continue to build our squad. Hopefully we can get some decent players to put into uh, the, the Premier League team that we don't have a full 11 for yet. That is the main aim, I think. But uh, anyway, that is going to bring this particular episode to a close. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Please do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind. That would be absolutely superb. Of course, if you aren't subscribed, then feel free to do so. There will be a link in the description to uh, to my channel. And of course, there will be an annotation on screen over the Pac-Man to, uh, to subscribe. And if you did miss the previous episode, there will be an annotation on screen over the Pink Ghost to uh, to see that video as well and of course if you don't follow me on twitter as well then uh, do be sure to head over to twitter.com at chesnoid gaming there will be a link to that in the description as well so follow me over there but that is all from me today so thank you very much for watching guys and i will see you next time